Hello, my friends. Are you sometimes depressed? And when you feel that way, do you sometimes feel shame and discomfort in being honest about that you're in that place? I would like to share with you some things that may help you on your journey, things that have helped me on my journey, and it might lessen the load you're carrying. The first thing to know is that you are not alone. Everyone at some point in their life experiences sadness, anger. Everyone goes through a time of grief or sorrow that may exceed what might be um, a normal couple of weeks of feeling sad about an event that has occurred. And that's a thing that is important to highlight is that sadness and grief is just a part of life. And it's, it's normal to be sad after something sad happens. That's just a normal part of emoting in a way that is healthy. But when sadness goes on too long, and it becomes increasingly more and more difficult to manage, that's when it turns into a depression. That's when we start using that language. What's interesting about that is by the time you get to that place, you're not necessarily feeling your um, emotions in the same way. By the time we get to a depression, there may or may not be any more tears. It may look more like apathy or a lack of feeling or an inability to um, connect to those emotions. But it's important to know that so many of us, I would say most of us, I would say all of us, every human being, but you know, that's just, that may be uh, an overestimate for some. We've all gone through or will go through periods in our life where we are feeling sad or angry and it turns into a depression and some of us can deal with that on our own uh, find a way out of that what i would call a hole um, but others of us need to seek out help and there is help out there and that's the thing to know about um, depression it is a very treatable disease and it's not something that you have to live with and deal with on your own all the time. There are resources that are out there that are available for us all. And um, if, if you need help with finding what some of those resources are, let me know and I can provide some information that might be able to connect you to the right resource. There's such a stigma so often that's been attached to um, being depressed or going through a depression. People hide that they struggle in that way so often. And I think it's important to uh, dismantle that thinking. Um, you never know what can happen when you ask for help um, or when you just allow people to have that intimate connection with you where they see you being vulnerable. It may open up the door for someone else that you're connecting to to be vulnerable as well. and that oftentimes lets us know that we're not alone and can provide some comfort and reassurance. And sometimes when you name it, it actually takes the power away from it. And it, it's a little bit different for people who they take on that identity. They have become their depression. They, they can't heal from it because as they identify with that aspect of who and how they are. They can't see themselves um, outside of that version of who they are, which is really sad, um, but it does happen. It can happen to many of us. But regardless of that, it's important to, to name it because once you name it, you can actually feel a power in that naming. A burden can sometimes be lifted and just not hiding behind that struggle. Because I think what it does is that it allows us to be seen by others. So often depression happens because we're feeling disconnected from other people and invisible 
often as a result. And so if we can name it, it, it allows us to be seen more. The, the goal would be not to never, ever be sad or never, ever be angry or depressed. That's not, that's not a reality. But what we can do is reduce the amount of time that we um, spend in those sad spaces and depressive episodes and to be able to lessen the impact it has on our day-to-day -day life and those who we love. I think it's great to be at peace. I think that we can strive for that. I think there is such a thing as happiness and I think there is such a thing as contentment. But I do think that it's very, very normal um, to sometimes feel depressed. And I think that we need to take that elephant out of the room and just say it.